I decided to do this to touch bees. Hello guys, hi. Uh, so I've had a few questions about why I consume vegan meals. Uh, instead of um, a question I got recently, if I can find it. And this is because I have been posting a lot of vegan recipes. And I'll just, for those of you who've joined me recently, welcome to the YouTube channel. Nice to have you on board. And I'm just going to really do a quick summary of how I got here and a bit of my story. But I'll be planning to do put out a Q&A on my community tab to just dive deeper into my eating habits and my weight loss journey. But I just thought that for those asking about why I eat vegan meals and stuff like that, especially if you've watched my older videos where I did a lot of meal prep, I am not really a strict vegan by choice as such, maybe for personal reasons, like people do it for the aspect of animal cruelty. I'm not really one of those vegans, I need to be honest. I stumbled across this because I have a health condition, which is not something that you'll notice or it's so obvious when you see me because it, it, it's HS, it's hydrinitis superative. I've done a separate video on this one, I will link it up. And it's just abscesses and boils, which I've had for a long time. There is no research to prove that what you eat is linked to reducing the symptoms. But I decided to cleanse my system and I did a juice and raw food diet for 10 days. And that moved to almost 30 days. And that helped me. I've been so, I suffer from bloating a lot, bloating my biggest problem. The days that I look big. My tummy the next day looks flat that triggers what i eat so i thought that going on a raw diet mainly fruit and veg was going to help and that's what i fell on the veganism and raw vegan diet and that study was great and i have been eating raw vegan meals twice a week and on the other three days a week i have cooked vegan meals and the other two days are my free days one because i can control what i eat more i have less calorie meals and i feel better my digestion is better and i just consume better food i hope that that answers some of the questions but on a separate note i have also recently changed some habits because i've hit um, a, a weight plateau if you've ever had a weight plateau, you just realize that you're no longer losing weight. It's not great because I had been losing a lot of weight and I just stopped. And I started building muscle because, guys, I have become a gym rat. <laughs> Even if I say it myself. And I always feel like with you guys, I need to come back and be honest. Because I remember my first videos and I said, I lose weight without going to the gym. That is all good but i'm getting older every day that you add a day you get a day older your body changes your metabolism slows down so i this i have been going to the gym um i have and i will talk about this in a separate video which i'm hoping to have time to film just of the things that i've learned and the less the things that i will hopefully want to impact but as a bottom line i've changed certain habits which i want to share especially eating habits and i'm going to chat my progress but with me i like to do things in real time and show you guys the benefits and one or two people have texted me about adf alternate day fasting which has been out there but is getting a lot more popular and it's something that it's very close to one meal a day or intermittent fasting which i'll break down another video for those of you who understand this is for you alternate day alternate day fasting the days that you fast for the whole day for one day and you skip another day people have different variations people have coffees teas water others just water but i am to be honest it is something that i think has been is beneficial long term but i'm against completely doing anything that's not substantial long term i think that weight loss should take time except you have a burning health issue take longer time to lose it because you lose it long term you lose it quickly it comes back quickly so i'm going to experiment and do some comparison for you guys because i like to back my opinions with facts and i have shown you that intermittent fasting and omad is great it's good so people can live by it for 30 years it's not like a fat diet you eat everything but you're just more careful because you fast for longer periods and it heals and you lose weight quicker so i'm going to talk about that and i'm not going to talk i'm i'm going to start 
compare comparing i'll do alternate day fasting just for those of you who really have been asking and i'll compare the results to one meal a day and i'll share but obviously at the beginning you lose more weight and then it plateaus so for me personally um i have been going to the gym sometimes five times a week and i've just stopped loitering around the gym like most of us do because you don't really con you don't really exercise that much but you tend to overcompensate and perhaps maybe eat more so going to classes is a very good tip and as i said i'll share this in a different video on my recent journeys and my weight loss and just an update on my new habits getting to a weight plateau the ways that you can trigger your 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 system to pick back up and uh first thing you can do is when you don't stop losing weight you can start building muscle because the fat turns to muscle the things that you can do very easy gains like walking drink water i keep saying water water is really important and sleep sleep is something that i've been suffering from not having because of my life in general i am extremely busy like most of us right but for some of us we have a lot more extracurricular activities more kids i have this channel that i feed you guys videos thrice a week on that note if you've not subscribed please do i also have a day job which is quite demanding a nine to five and there's a lot in between so sleep sometimes is a bit of a, a luxury for me to go to bed on, on time so that could also be responsible one of my, the reasons why I might not really be losing weight as much as I want to. So please include sleep more in your diet. Drink more water. Don't go on this fat diet. And for those of you who are vegans, it's amazing. It's good. But I think that a balanced diet is important. And it's good to, you know, if it's only to lose weight, think of other ways. For me personally, like I said already, I did this because it helped my system. And juicing is my new friend. Guys, I have a detox day or a detox period every month three four days sometimes five days a month and i'm going through this now which i'm sure you would have seen the video before or after this i have booster shots i don't have any boils or abscesses anymore due to my health changes and i feel like i'm in a very good space but i could make it better so in the meantime i'll carry on with um making sure that during the week i eat healthy i try to fast and i'm going to experiment on the alternative day fasting and i'll feed that to you guys i did not really intend it to be this long but you guys know that when it comes to topics about weight loss i can talk for one hour because it's a topic next to my heart and yes anyway i'm going to to end this video here thanks again and please guys if you there is anything you want me to talk about any particular topic you want me to talk about please feel free to let me know and i'll prepare it but and i'll see you in my next video thank you and please don't forget to give us some love subscribe like and tell me what you think and how ways that you can fight a weight plateau all right bye bye bye